Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got a huge report to share with you, and that is this. Top leading experts in their field have sent a warning, not only to President Donald Trump, but also to Congress, warning of a potential EMP attack from the North Korea dictator and crazy loony man, uh, Kim Jong-un, who they believe could wipe out 90% of America with a single EMP. But don't take my word for it. Check out this report from www.dailywire.com titled, Experts warn Congress North Korea EMP could kill 90% of Americans. Consider nuclear strike first. Now, the report was put out by Ryan Savadre, and it goes on to report that two EMP experts warned Congress on Thursday that North Korea is capable of executing an EMP attack over the U.S., which would send the United States back into the Stone Age and could lead to the deaths of 90% of Americans within a year. It goes on to say that Chairman Dr. William R. Graham and Chief of Staff Dr. Peter Vincent Pry of the Commission to Assess the Threat to the U.S. from EMP Attack told the Committee of Home on Homeland Security that the U.S. is now facing a doomsday scenario as U.S. intelligence under the Obama administration grossly underestimated the capabilities of North Korea. Now, the conclusion of that report states this, and this is where it gets a little eerie, if you will, or a little bit concerning, but here's what they conclude that report with, and they state, uh, in regards to the recommendation to the President and Congress, they say, we declare that EMP or cyber attacks that black out or threaten to black out the national electrical grid constitute the use of weapons of mass destruction that justify a preemptive and retaliatory responses by the U.S. using all possible means, including nuclear weapons. Basically, or in a nutshell, their recommendation to the president and to Congress was to strike North Korea dictator-in-chief first before they got their hands on an EMP, which we already know that they have their hands on an EMP, but before they set one off over America, they are recommending a preemptive strike. Uh, but tensions are continuing to rise. I know that Hawaii has been put on alert on numerous occasions and Guam as well. Check out this report from www fox6now.com. This one's titled, North Korea Revives the Guam Threat Ahead of U.S. South Korea Drills. Now, this was put out on October 14th, uh, but basically it goes on to detail that a renewed threat to launch missiles toward the U.S. territory of Guam has been issued by Kim Jong-un. Now, here, here's the thing. How close are we to war? That's the question that we need to be asking ourselves is, is war with North Korea possible? And I, I, I uh, believe that it is. I think we could go to war with North Korea. I know tensions have risen ever since Trump has gotten into office, but even before that, he's been shooting his mouth off for quite some time. And I've done numerous reports on here showing uh, threats, um, video threats that he'll put out in North Korea of bombing the White House. He shows these on videos, people clapping with mass graves in America, EMP style bombs being set off in America, these are the kinds of things and propaganda videos that are constantly aired back and forth uh, there in North Korea. So interesting thing to think about, but how close are we? Well, here's a few news reports that show you how close I believe we actually are. This first one comes from www.cnbccrapnews.com, if you will, but new Guam threat as North Korea still weighs powerful hydrogen chest over the Pacific. Obviously, they want to do another test with hydrogen. Here's another one, Wash Post, Washington Post. Almost half of Republicans want war with North Korea, says a new poll. Is it the Trump effect? And here's a third from moneycontrol.com. North Korea, live US diplomacy with North Korea to continue until the first bomb drops, says Tillerson. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said Sunday that President Donald Trump has instructed him to continue diplomatic efforts to claim rising tensions with North Korea, saying those diplomatic efforts will continue until the first bomb drops. So I'm going to leave um, links for all of those below so you can check those out for yourself. Uh, but obviously tensions are at a boiling point and almost boiling over. We know in prior reports that I've done that 
Uh, they have sent two uh, ballistic missiles over Japan into area that is supposed to be off limits. Um, they've done that a few times. We know uh, we've got you know ships in the water and in the air, military activity all around. We're running drills right now with South Korea. So all these things we need to keep an eye out for. And not to mention, about a week ago, Donald Trump made a mysterious uh, claim when he was with a bunch of military personnel while he was taking photos, he made some weird remarks uh, saying that this could be the calm before the storm. And when people inquired what that storm was, he said, well, you'll see, basically. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Could he be referencing North Korea? Could he be referencing that? Because after those talks that he had with the military personnel, after those photos, North Korea and Iran were all topics of the conversation there as well as I believe ISIS and terrorism. So something to think about. Anyhow, uh, if you like what you heard, give me a thumbs up, share it on all your social media outlets, and please don't forget to check out my partner at VPN. Get on a VPN. Honestly, you need a VPN to keep all your stuff, um, your, it scrambles your IP address so they're not able to follow you. The NSA can't track every website you go to, if you will, but it will scramble your uh, IP address. So go to virtualshield.com uh, forward slash hey, Lisa Haven. I always want to say backslash, I don't know why, but uh, virtualshield.com forward slash Lisa Haven. So go there and check that out as well. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.